Hi guys, it's Richard from StreamTVUK.com. Today's January the 10th, 2017, and you're looking at an email from IP Vanish saying that the software needs updating. Now, I got an email two weeks ago and then another reminder yesterday because today's the last day that you can carry on using IP Vanish without updating the app. So if you use an IP Vanish on an Android box, then today's the day to update it. So it's dead easy. Um, there's a couple of methods and um, slightly different for different boxes. But I'll show you the bug standard method first. And um, yeah, let's get cracking, right? So I'm going to connect into uh, Minix Neo U1 um, using TeamViewer remote support software. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. Um, the procedure for most Android boxes is the same. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're running 4.4.2 or 5.1.1 or 6.0 something. Um, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So, if you've already got a version of IP Vanish on your box, you'll probably want to uninstall the old version first. This will just ensure that it's completely gone. Um, because sometimes when you download an update to an app it doesn't remove the old app and you'll have two versions of the same app and you won't know which one's which so just delete it go into your settings go across to your apps find IP vanish in your list hit your enter button and go to uninstall and OK and OK again and that's it, it's gone now you can install the um, the new app just go back to your home screen and go to your browser and then type in stream tv uk dot com forward slash download hit enter Okay. And um, about three quarters of the way down the page, you'll see the IP Vanish APK. There you go. So that's the IP Vanish download. Just hit enter, and it will start to download. Cyberfile can harm your device. Do you want to keep IP? Vanish VPN Stream TV APK anyway. Yeah, you do. So that download started, so now we can go back to the home screen. And you can go to your file explorer. Or your file browser, I should say. And there you go. You can see that the uh, APK is downloaded there to your downloads folder. Just click on it, click install. It usually takes about 20 seconds for this to install. And I'll hit open. And then you can sign in as normal. And that's it. Okay, the second method, if you've already got a Google Play Store account, is just to go to the Google Play Store. Search IP Vanish. And 
hit install. Set that. That's it done. I mean, that method's really easy if you've already got a Google Play Store account, you're already signed up and logged in. If you're not, then you probably want to use our downloads page. If you are, brilliant. And um, let's move to the fire. Okay, with the Amazon Fire, things are a little bit different. We need to use ES File Explorer. So, let's go to ES File Explorer and just launch it. Okay, in case you're wondering how I've got this circle on um, the screen, it's just a USB mouse plugged into the USB port at the back of the Amazon Fire. This doesn't work with the Amazon Fire Stick, obviously, because there's no point, there's no port, but um, Team uh, IP Vanish doesn't work with um, the Amazon Fire Stick either, so forget it. It's, um, I'm afraid it's just not up to the job. But um, the Fire. TV box is more than capable. So go to favorites, highlight it, hit enter, click on add, and where it says path, you're going to add your path. Path is http colon forward slash forward slash stream TV. UK.com forward slash download and then give it a name and we'll just call it 111 and then hit add. Now, if you don't have a mouse, you can use um, the direction functions on the remote. It's almost as easy, not quite, but almost. And we're still on favourites, so we'll just scroll down to where we've got 1111. And this launches the bookmark that we've just added. So this is the uh, our downloads page. And then scroll down your page till you get to. IP vanish there we go now click once on the IP vanish and then click at the bottom bottom right where it says more and then click open in browser and You've got to select just once or always, it doesn't matter, to be quite honest. Um, we'll just hit just once, and there you go, you can see it downloading. It's only a 19 megabit file. Megabyte. Okay, now it's downloaded successfully, click on open file, and then click on install, and then install again, That's it.
It's the same procedure on the NVIDIA shield. Just um, while I think on, you could also download the APK on a laptop, connect in using TeamViewer and do a file transfer, then install um, using either File Browser on Android or um, ES File Explorer on Amazon Fire or NVIDIA Shield. But there's loads of different options, it's dead easy anyway. So the first time you connect them to the Amazon Fire it takes a couple of minutes to establish the connection and work everything out but then every time after that it was really quick so don't be too alarmed if it takes a few minutes the first time. Okay cheers see you next time bye.